All right, last session. So at automation anywhere, it's not all, for us, it's not just about what we do, but how we do it matters to us. So we bring all these different amazing customers, all of you come, you share your stories, but we also want to do it in some different way, try different format so that we can have some fun, right? So that's the idea. We meet so many customers, all of us meet, everyone is very proud of their programs, they want to learn from each other, but every time I meet, it's every one of them saying, I want my program to be best. I really want it to be best. There's this competitive side. So we are gonna do that. We have three customers who are gonna fight it out to see whose program is the best, yeah? So at least let's get the victims, uh, sorry, contestants on the stage, please. <laughs> Poonam. So we have Poonam from American Airlines. And then we have Igor. Welcome, uh -huh. Igor. Igor is from Petrobras. And last but not the least, we have Dave Guladi joining us from Columbia Sportswear. Welcome, Dave. Thank you. What is cheating? Google. Nothing. <laughs> Dave, you are already wearing like age, like this thing. So. Automation anywhere and Columbia Sportswear. Extra bonus points. <laughs> bonus points for that, branding wise. <laughs> all right. And so here are the rules. I'd, I want all of you to pay attention. We have three judges. So if you can get the judges up, please standing up. Joe Bechtel from Umana, right? We have Subhani Nayak from Citibank. And we have Edwin Prasad from Accenture. We have two of our biggest customers and are one of our biggest partners. They all are gonna judge. I'm gonna ask them five different questions. At least I don't know the answers, right? They are gonna get one, one and a half minute for every one of these questions. Some questions, one minute. There'll be a buzzer that'll go on. Right, Laurie? We are gonna like buzz them, right? Okay, good. So they're gonna keep it snappy, they're gonna keep it fast. And then I want all of you to listen because in the end, you are gonna influence the judges, right? Either shouting, <laughs> clapping, booing. I'm gonna put their names <laughs> up and they are gonna listen, right? So you're gonna have some fun, right? So everyone pay attention to all their answers. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Did I forget anything, Kelsey? All right, <laughs> so let me start with you, Puna. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. so the first one is always a softball, right? That you have to give the easy one, right? You have to share with everyone about your program and American Airlines, how you got here, where you are, and what, what the program has achieved so far. So quick, go. Sounds good, I think there's a slide that comes up for that. Yes. Yes. We have about, uh, what, 150 bots. It's a very well-loved team um, that has great productivity, great performance, and zero attrition. All right. <laughs> <laughs> zero attrition. <laughs> and um, we are across several areas. So we are very shallow, not quite deep, but very wide. And how do I know that 150 is a good size? I mean, it's not a huge size, but I know it's a good size because we were chugging along, doing a great job, and Jay, our strategic accounts manager, was helping us, we're going fine. Not a peep from anybody else, though. We hit 150, and I get a call. Rusha Parmani wants to come and meet you. I'm like, who's Rusha? He's one of the co-founders. Oh my God, okay, now I'm in honored. Like, I'm in this league, this respectable league of 150 plus, it seems like. There must be some number, some automation you have in place. Suddenly, I'm like in some other league altogether. He, he has a digital co-pilot who wakes up at 150. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Now, so, you know, jokes aside, it's been, it's been very successful. The pandemic really helped us. You know, in the airline business, the pandemic was really a crisis for us. Um, but there was a silver lining. Um, our businesses knew they had to get something done. And so, you know, some of those excuses, uh, we didn't hear as many of those. All right, thanks Poonam. So if you start with airline, you cannot finish without going to oil and gas. Mm -hmm. So Petrobras, <laughs> Igor, tell us about oh. your story. Hello, imagine me. I'm Igor Higot from Petrobras, a Brazilian oil and gas company. Uh, we have started our uh, automation program two years ago 
Since of them, a lot of hard work has been done and the results are coming. Uh, 169 production bots that represents 29,000 uh, executions oh. by mouth. Uh, it's natural the results are coming and we have it structured to orchestrate everything on center of excellence. We are checking uh, our architecture, our governance, our telemetry. Uh, we have archived uh, great results, 250 thousand man hours saved. Cool. It represents our brick even projects project for our four years program. Uh, but it's not uh, only about uh, financial results. We have soft results too. Uh, I'm so proud to tell a little bit about our governance program, about our compliance program. We have archived 30% of our compliance automated control key controls. Uh, the average of our energy industry is about 12%. Uh, our center of excellence monitoring and measuring seven KPIs. We are measuring uh, interest, work in progress, deliveries, queue size, waiting time, lead time, and man hours saved. This is how we are uh, uh, improving in helping Petrobras with uh, two delivery partners, 70 initiatives in parallel. It's a little bit crazy, but uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you, Automation Well. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Igor. Igor, it's, I, I love it that you're using it both in upstream, downstream. Uh, one of the one learning I had in oil and gas is everything above the ground is downstream, everything under the ground is upstream. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, Igor taught that to me, so that's an amazing <laughs> thing. We have to end with uh, Columbia Sportswear. Yes. So Dave. Thank you so much. So uh, Columbia Sportswear is a smaller company than my friends here, uh, but we have seen a lot of success, uh, especially in our program. And uh, you see that's uh, crawl, walk, run, which is actually depicted as starting from a bike all the way to airplane. But yeah, we, we really grew as a program. and. Um, to the extent that, uh, you know, I was having a discussion with our CFO and he said, uh, Dave, you are a profit center. You are not a cost center anymore. Don't think yourself as a cost center. You are a profit center. We, uh, within the first five months of the program, the program became profitable. So if, if I was to share some figures, like uh, over the life of the program till now, we have generated a profitability of uh, close to $23 million on a cost of around $4.8 million. So that speaks a lot about the program, right? <laughs> now, how is that possible? Like you need a winning team, like you need a team which actually does not fear, does not fear to fail. Fear to fail is become common now, but we, we kind of imbibe that in spirit. Uh, we take it up and, and we are okay. Like Automation Anywhere came to us and say, listen guys, do you want to be the first customer who wants to go on to A360? Said, Why not? Let's go for it. So uh, we, we, had a, uh, we had a great partnership with Automation Anywhere and they helped us uh, through this entire progression. Uh, but then we kept repeating it. We were the first customers who start uh, using embedded automations, among the first customers who start using RE. So we really don't fear. And we are almost like uh, within a complete enterprise, you see us as, uh, as a startup. So that's how, how what we are as a team, right? And solution capabilities, definitely RP is a big one for us, but we expanded it. Like low code platforms, ingesting overall BPM and, and getting, onto, uh, getting onto a stage like usage of RE, conversational AI is a big one. So we are finding ways to open up channels. It can be natural language understanding, using conversational AI or smart workflows, where you essentially use at the back end we call it RP as a service. You'll hear a lot from us. I, I was in a breakout session where I kind of explained that concept. Is wherever you don't have enterprise service, RP is the answer. Don't wait for next three or five years for that enterprise service is going to come. It will not happen. Do it now. So that's what our program is. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> can we treat? Can, can we tweet profit center and not a cost center? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Can I tweet profit center and not a co cost center? Yeah, go for it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
<laughs> so now we are not going to be as nice. Now it's going to be one minute. So mm. we are like, we have to be good host. I'll have you guys the first question. No okay. buzzer. All right. Now the buzzer will start. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. We have to make it fast. So, Poonam, like citizen development, mm -hmm. right? That's the buzzword. Citizen development is a big strategy everyone is trying to use to kind of expand their program. You have done amazing so far. Mm -hmm. What's your plan? So citizen development, I like to say there are two types of companies. The ones that have citizen developers and the ones that don't know that they have citizen developers. <laughs> you already have them. They're doing work in macros and Excel and, you know, and things that you don't even know where they are. Okay? So it's here to say, we decided to embrace it. In fact, we're going out and teaching them how to develop on automation anywhere. I'd rather they do that than build macros that after five years, suddenly that person has gone and they come to IT and say, can you take these now? You know, I, I want to avoid that. So what we do um, is we have a hackathon culture at American Airlines. We do hackathons for solving problems, for recruiting, for all kinds of things. And so we had a botathon. Um, we brought in our business people into the botathon. It was a one day, not even a day long, actually. They started in the morning at 9 o'clock, uh, identified their processes, and by 11, they had their bots ready, developed. So Automation Anywhere is really quite easy to use. You know, Even though I don't like to admit it to you, it actually is quite easy to use. And they're excited. We think that they're going to go back into their, uh, into their groups and uh, evangelize this, and now that they can develop it. Hey. <laughs> Good. Igor, go for it. Citizen development. Yeah. We believe that we need to democratize technology. We have started our citizen development program with uh, another platform. We have our uh, citizen development program with ServiceNow implementing uh, a catalog service. We have already 2,000 items uh, implemented by non-IT users. Mm. Wow. They, they, they develop the process, they implement, they maintain, they publish the process in production. How is it amazing if they can the capability to digitalize their own process and automatize their own process? We will do that. We will employ these 200 employees to help us increase our bots. Yeah. It's ours. That's good. And before the buzzer. Before the buzzer. <laughs> Six seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, yeah. you get the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Citizen development, are you th what are you thinking in Columbia Sports? We are thinking automation champions. So we have a very strong philosophy, is team is more important than individual. So, and that's the way we do it. Like, uh, it's not about creating your own self bot. It's also great, you can do that. You can create your own bots for your desktop application. But the focus for us is a lot around automation champions, building teams. So we identify and we partner people who are really interested or, te or teams who are really interested. And then we create teams around those, almost like federation. And then we empower those. One thing we are st uh, doing now is we are standing a squad dedicated, which will happen in January. We are hiring people where our focus is more on change management. Those people are not going to develop a single bot. Their core focus is enablement, empowerment, standing up these automation champions, building teams around that. That's our philosophy. We also call it controlled citizen development because for an enter enterprise uh, like us, the security and uh, keeping a focus on, on the key <coughs> areas is more important. So Dave, I'll, 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 I'll start now with you. Okay. <laughs> I have to change it up a little bit. He's on okay. a flow. Yeah. yeah, he's on a flow. <laughs> Go for it. Look, so the program is going well. All of your programs are going well, delivering great resu results, right? What are your plans to make it one of the top strategic imperative for your C-suite or for your CEO? I mean, right now it's delivering value, but is it like on top five strategic? Uh, it is. It's already there? It's okay. already. One minute saved. Move forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just <laughs> What are your plans? Later. How do you get their mindset? What are your plans in the next one, one year to get up? I think we got a little fortunate mindset. also. Uh, one thing which happened when Columbia Sports Show started this journey is that our steering committee is nothing but C-suite. So they oh. guide the program. So once you have that, uh, you know, uh, backing from them, it really helps us. So, uh, so that's already happening, but having said that, the most important thing which we're really working hard now on is to how do you align 
your program with the OKRs, what we are really targeting? What are the themes you are after? For us, the consumer experience in our industry is a big theme, right? So our entire alignment of automation program, and that's where we, we guys will be pushing you to lead towards making that happen. So absolutely aligned, it is happening. I don't even see it as a roadblock. I see it as opportunities. We are making it all about consumer experience and just being absolutely, a lever yes. driving that and that's all. Oh. Consumer and employee experience. Right. Kind of goes together. So. Igor? Okay. Uh, in Petrobras, we are uh, structured as a COE's network. We have a CEO of robotic and digitalization, CEO of blockchain, CEO of IoT, virtual reality, and how this network is improving our initiatives about uh, innovation. Mm -hmm. And how this, this program is followed by our C-level. So our board of directors, our uh, board of governance, our CIO. So adoption on C-suite will be uh, complete our 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 uh, strategy to to uh, help us to show to the C level uh, all the value that we can uh, deliver that's it yeah that's a good one me so you know i i would ask them what are their deepest dreams and their deepest desires and so i can please tell us also we can put it in our proposal <laughs> that's right so what does the CFO want? What does my CFO want? He wants that he doesn't ever have to approve another headcount request. <laughs> and so I've told him that. You get a headcount request, you come straight to me. All right. Okay. What does the CHRO want? You know, our CHRO wants places where she doesn't have to worry about attrition. So I've said, zero attrition. <laughs> Well, jokes aside, though, you sure, have that's to, a good one. It's a good one. Isn't yeah, it? it is. So you have to align with what their, um, you know, their objectives for the, for the year are. For example, at American Airlines, recruiting has been a big challenge, like for many of you, of course. But uh, with the airlines, you know, it affects all of you. So you probably already see it when we don't have enough pilots and we don't have enough uh, gate agents and so on. So we had to cut our recruiting cycle. Uh, it was too long, and so automation helped with that. But still, if you want a headcount. Yes, you come <laughs> first it's here. The one. Exactly. It's the best one. Don't, do not gonna, approve it. Yes. It's going to be in my CFO yes. pitch, every yes. CFO. Exactly. Master. All right. So, last two. One year later, again, we'll meet up and imagine here. I hope you'll go back on stage. And one year later, like transport yourself one year later. How will your program look one year later? Starting with you. Start with me? Because the slides load. Yeah, the slides will tell you the, the story, but really, um, I will just speak to it. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek at a Wall Street Journal article that's going to come out in October of 2024. Give me two years, okay? So the headline reads, American Airlines records highest ever revenue, stock price rocks, skyrockets. All right. So I won't read the full article. You can read it in, nine, you know, in, <laughs> in 2024. Um, but there's a quote from our CEO, Robert Isom, in that. Uh, he says, we are incredibly pleased to report this record-breaking profit. Huh? The American Airlines team has proven once again that it's the best at the best at running a reliable operation, and we expect that to continue due to, to the huge competitive advantage we have, please note, we have because of the new untapped source of talent. And we want to thank our IT department. <laughs> Isn't that a dream of every CIO? Yes, for creating this new pipeline of resources. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> you, you, you literally can't beat that. I'm going to take that and give it to the sales rep who is working that's on your right, account. Right. Like that's all I'm doing. <laughs> Igor, one year later. Okay. We have three main pillars. Democratize technology. Uh, to do this, we need to improve our governance. We have a complex scenario. We have a complex architecture. We have uh, ACP, Salesforce, Service Now, Out Systems, uh, Automation Wear, of course. Uh, so we need to orchestrate everything. We are developing an uh, event driving uh, architecture to listen uh, these events and trigger our bots so we can uh, uh, execute a lot of, a, a lot of work. We wanted that the, the execution bots can decide which task 
he needs to execute. We need, we wanna implement uh, intelligent decision. We wanna incorporate uh, intelligence, in artificial intelligence and mm -hmm. contents to, to um, uh, automation documents to our program. Uh, how many unstructured data or semi-structured data do you have in the company? It's amazing how can, uh, with automation document, you can do. The, all, all these three pillars will be, <laughs> will be showing some <laughs> steps <laughs> that will increase <laughs> our production buffs, our means our saves, and the reduction. Exactly, I have to time. let you say, negative 75% <laughs> lead time, I cannot buzz you, come on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> can't do that, can't do that. There, one year later, Columbia uh, Sportswear. At least you're going to give that jacket to everyone. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bring it next year. For everyone sure. is asking about that jacket. Yeah, I think uh, for us it's very, very simple. We want to, if there is a word called minimize, you see those minions at the back end? So we want to minimize our entire uh, program. More microbots. We have an internal target to build up 500 RPA services by 2025. That's the internal target we are after. And we want to take it to the level that it starts competing with the enterprise services. Um, and what that does actually is, you see that happy customer and, and uh, entire section on the services, is that we can build up great user experiences up the, at, the, at the front end, and now couple it up with automation and smart workflows, conversational AI. But what is really feeding it is this guy. Microbots, go, we are going to go very aggressive on that. That's it. That's that's what it is for us. Okay. Last question. Generally, humility is a great word, uh, a great trait to have, but not for next one minute, right? Because last question is, you are actually telling everyone why your program is better than anyone else's, right? So why your automation program is better than anyone else's, Dave? Let's start. I think we said already about, uh, we are a profit center, so that kind of defines us. Um, we have a very strong focus on OCM. Change management is code for us. So that I think differentiates uh, us uh, among other programs as well. We don't fear the failure. We said that also, like uh, we are a winning team and uh, it's okay to fail. We are failing, we have failed so many times and we are okay with that. So um, maybe that also differentiates our team uh, in, in a way. Uh, our focus on role-based automations, bringing in more minions, like we, we spoke about that. So maybe I think that that differentiates us. But I've seen other great programs also, like we are good, but others are also good. <laughs> He's gonna vote for me. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> Igor, come on, man. Give me some it's Brazilian, or some <laughs> reason why this <laughs> is the best. <laughs> it's, it's not only for about technology. It's about uh, our employee experience. It's about uh, of delivering a delightful workplace, digital workplace. Uh, it's what we are doing. Uh, it's uh, t turning simple the use of technology. We need to do our best to helping people, to helping the world work, helping out, uh, American Airlines, Colombian, and Petrobras. When automation will help us, they are helping everyone. It's uh, amazing to be here. Uh, I'm, ve I'm very grateful for this moment. Thank you. I, let ah, I need to say something. Hey, go. We, we have time. We go. I have them? No, no. We have no. Time. Go, go. go. I want to be recognized uh, with our program as we are recognized in deep, deep uh, water production oil. I want our automation program be recognized as our soccer team. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> you have to bring the World Cup angle. Come on, man. You're like, you're like Brazil's I need, I need to say. <laughs> okay. Unam, last. Uh, that's last for the best. Yeah, why? Um, so, um, you know, it was obvious, 150 bots, we have saved more than 100 plus FTEs across pretty much every, every part of the airline, right? Great partnership, we have the citizen development, all of that is good stuff. 
But you know what I think will really speak to you is when I ask you, how many of you have had to cancel a flight during the pandemic and get a refund? Okay, you got it from American Airlines, right? <laughs> that was because of the automation. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have to wait months. We were inundated with the refund requests. You can imagine, Basically, right? if you want refunds, you, yeah, yes, then vote exactly. for me. Then vote for me. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to retire that bot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then the same way, how many of you have been on a call to an airline, you know, and waiting and waiting and waiting? Uh, we have a bot that actually does some of the work so that your wait times are less. Oh. Beat that. <laughs> so so I, I like it in how the previous question, you made it all about press release on the stage. Mm -hmm. And now like you ended with a, like a complete threat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. what do you, think? you told me it was a competition. No, I think I with my clouds no, no. out here. <laughs> Refunds. If the bot Refunds, no, but that was, it was, uh, it, seriously speaking though, we were uh, in a panic because uh, in the pandemic, all of you pretty much canceled all your flights. And then the refund request started coming in. We couldn't hire enough people to keep that going. There's no way. Yeah, all I can say is if you retire that bot, but you're still renewing the license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh. All right, guys, time to vote. There are like three judges. I'm going to like, like talk about one contestant and you guys are gonna make noise to influence them. They are gonna vote, they are gonna score them from zero to 10. Zero is also a score, okay, but I don't think so they are gonna give that. <laughs> but so let's go for it. Uh, you wanna start with Dave? Judges, you guys are voting? Yeah. All right, good. Igor? I, I, I'll just vote for him. I love Brazil soccer for him. I've talked Just vote for the soccer. <laughs> refunds? No refunds? <laughs> American Airlines. <laughs> They all want Threat to always works. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how an automation program competition became about refunds, but. <laughs> 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 so are we ready? Joe, Subhani, Edwin? Joe has a jacket, he's wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bribes are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> you, have the, you have the mic. Do you want to share any thoughts? <laughs> oh man, the serious stuff. First off, thanks for coming up to the stage and presenting your programs. Uh, I love the common themes between the three programs that you guys have. The things I wrote down, and you guys can feel free to share, but definitely improving the customer experience was first and foremost of what you guys brought up from across the board. Um, I love hearing the strong partnership between business and IT. I know we've had shows on the stage in the past where we've, we've, yeah. <laughs> where we've, where we've debated that. But, but I've also found that extremely successful, is how do I encourage both of those parties at the table to reduce the risk to encourage these citizen developers across, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I felt uh, uh, American Airlines has the right use cases, actually, so, uh, but, uh, I mean, like, Igor uh, has the, uh, the right processes. Um, I mean, like, the KPIs and uh, Can you the governance. Can you the uh, I mean, like that's where I felt a uh, lot of value. Yeah. And um, I mean, like uh, uh, Columbia has a lot of, uh, I mean, they're upcoming and then the vision is good, all microbots and other things. Yeah. So I see that there is a lot of uh, future on that. Can you guys just stand up when you're speaking so that we at least everyone can see you? And I'm getting instructions here, they're like gonna really put. Great presentation. Great presentation. Great presentation. Great presentation. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> 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 you know, you know why? That's Accenture. <laughs> I'm with you, buddy. I'm with you. See, that just got a little easier. Joe said it all, and then Subhani so didn't we, have to say as much. So can we can we get the score, please? 
You have to score them. You cannot just give winners, man. You have to score <laughs> them. While they're deliberating, <laughs> uh, let me say something. I do want to thank uh, DXC Automation Anywhere, of course, for the partnership. But DXC has been a great partner with us. They've uh, gone on the Big journey level. with us. I think we should just, I think the judges are deliberating on a clear winner. Yes, 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 yes. All right, judges. Go, go for it. Tree. Okay, happy. You have to give, all right. <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Yeah, they are going to announce it, you know. <laughs> okay. The winner. Yeah? No, no, score, please. Oh, score. <laughs> okay, so we have Petrobras at eight. Okay. Points. Petrobras is eight. Big, big, big round of applause. American Airlines, nine. Nine. I was hoping you would say you would buy Columbia's company mm. for your 2024 release for their automation program. But no, just kidding. Um, Columbia, 9.5. All right. Congratulations, Dave. Finally, everyone understood at least 670 jackets with the... Yes, will be needed. <laughs> you have it. <laughs> but guys, big round of applause for all the contestants and the judges. Thank you. It takes great sportsman spirit to do this, and thank you very much. Appreciate all the things. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having fun. us, guys. Congrats. <laughs>